Let me give you numbers. This year is our 35th anniversary. Our 25th anniversary was obviously 10 years ago in 2013. What was IPS size in 2013? It numbered about 30. What is its size now? By the end of this year, will be 120. Social Lab that conducts research, collects data, conducts surveys, does focus group discussions, and so on. It is actually the only unit in all the institutes of higher learning in Singapore that collects data by itself. What Policy Lab suggests or indicates is a movement in another direction. Not merely talking about and researching policy, but also experimenting with policy, doing policy, running pilots, figuring out what works, what doesn't work. And then perhaps so after that, hopefully it can then be scaled up. We are right now focusing on social policy, uh, but hopefully uh, we will be able to move into experimenting and piloting educational uh, programs to see what might work, what might not work. Of course, in the course of the past 10 years, you know, we have done a whole host of other things. The SR Northern Fellowship has become a major event in the intellectual calendar, if you like. The Singapore Perspectives Conference that IPS organises annually, every January, and right through the COVID period, it went virtual, is another major you know, event in the, our intellectual calendar. And as a result, I think we have provided a valuable platform for people, Singaporeans, to meet, to talk about things and issues that are of importance to them. If you want to I mean, give you an example of the kind of work that I'm proudest of, I think um, they took about three, four years to complete this work, which was to look at the living conditions, the working conditions of platform workers. It was a very original piece of research that we initiated and our young researchers, our research assistants, our research associates became very, very enthusiastic about this project, gave of themselves and I think IPS made a very valuable contribution to government policy where platform workers are concerned. It is not just a matter of cranking out research papers and so on, but of mobilising the passion and the idealism um, of young researchers. It's an example of um, what might be possible if one did that. I hope IPS can be a centre for research into public policy, but also in addition to that, that IPS can be a centre for experimenting, for piloting certain possible policy solutions, which then can be scaled up by um, government agencies. If they are found to be useful. If you remain of use to the public service, to the government and to the people of Singapore at large, there is no reason why you should not be around. If you cease to be of use, there is no reason why you should be around.